Hello, welcome. Uh, you join me once again uh, at a session of Maths with Mr. Thompson. And today we're going to look at an area of probability, which is actually quite an easy one to get your head around. Uh, the formula that we use kind of looks a bit cl clumsy, but it's actually a very straightforward concept. We're looking at something called the expected number. Uh, and this is what we're talking about. If we know the probability of something that something's going to happen, and we can work out how often we might expect it to happen. Uh, and there's a, the, form, the formula, the expected value of an event equals the probability of an event times the number of trials. Okay, so that sounds a bit clumsy as I was saying, but just think about it this way. If you toss a coin 50 times, how often would we expect to get a head? Well, intuitively, you know you'd expect to get it half the time, 25 head, 25 tails. You, you won't get exactly that, you may get 24, 26, or 24, uh, 20, 30, but you'd expect it to come out 25. Now, in terms of this uh, formula, here's how it would play out. The expected value uh, of, uh, excuse me, the expected value of getting a head is the probability of getting ahead, which we know is 0 0.5, uh, times the number of trials, which in this case is 50. It's 0 0.5 times 50, so the answer is 25, just as we thought. And it's just, it's just that simple, okay? So let's take a look at a slightly more kind of interesting example. Uh, when I drive to work, I come up Montreal Street. Uh, Montreal Street is a one-way street. So in theory, if you get a green light at the start of the street, you should get green all the way up. doesn't quite work out that way. And uh, let's say for the sake of the argument that I've managed to work out the chances of my getting all green lights is 0.25. So how often would I expect this to happen over one week? Well, a week is five times when driving up that road. So the probability of all green, I beg your pardon, the expected, the expected uh, number of all green is the probability of all green which is 0 0.25 times the number of trials which in this case is 5 which is 1.25. Now let's be clear on this. Uh, I drive five times, so one and a quarter of those times I'm going to expect to get green. You can't get a quarter of a journey. So it's either going to be one or two. Over the space of two weeks it would be, uh, uh, only, you know, two and a half, it would be, um, like, over the space of four weeks it would work out five times over four weeks. You, you don't always get an exact whole number here that makes sense. You, you can't get one and a quarter of journeys. So what I'm saying is don't be surprised if you get that kind of thing happening. It is going to happen uh, from time to time. Okay, uh, Let's take this time, instead of uh, five journeys, we're going to look at a whole 40 week school year. Now that's uh, basically five journeys a week for 40 weeks. Uh, which is 200 journeys. So my expected value of all green over the whole year is uh, still the same probability, 0.25, but instead of five journeys, I've now got 200. Uh, 200 times 0.25, well, uh, 100 times 0.25 is 25, so 200 times that is 50. I expect to have 50 days in the whole year um, where I have green all the way up Montreal Street. Okay, and that's expected number. 